with all the information uh, from the last video uh, we have, I guess now we are ready to answer the question which we asked during the first uh, lecture on this uh, on on the subject on economic growth. So why are you so more so much more prosperous than your great great grandparents were? Let's look at some data. So we know that there are three sources of economic growth. There was accumulation of physical capital, accumulation of human capital, and technology. So let's look at uh, uh, data on these three variables uh, starting in 1950. So this is for United States. Uh, we are looking at contribution of technology, physical capital, and human capital to the growth of GDP per hour worked in the United States between 1950 and 2007. Well, one look at this and you can see that clearly over this period, all these numbers are increasing. For example, average years of schooling. In 1950 to 59, the average years of schooling were 9.38 uh, years. In 2000 to 2007, uh, it is 13.22. And now you can compare this with some of the numbers that we had seen before uh, for countries like India or uh, other developing economies where the average years of schooling was something like five or six years. Let's look at the physical capital uh, stock per work, uh, physical capital stock per hour work. Right, so how much of physical capital is available uh, for every hour worked for all the workers in the United States. So in 1950 to 59, uh, it was uh, 102,548 uh, worth of physical capital stock available. In 2000, uh, it is 158,755 uh, constant dollars, 2005 constant dollars. So that has also phenomenally increased. But I guess much more phenomenal increase is in terms of productivity. In 1950 to 59, for each hour worked, the amount of GDP that was created, now this is real GDP because you will uh, you can you will notice that it is 2005 constant dollars, is like $8.30 worth of GDP was produced by one hour worked uh, in 1950 to 59. Compare that to 2000-2007. We are now producing $27 worth of GDP in one hour. So this is the phenomenal or substantial rise in our capacity to produce stuff. And that clearly comes from definitely comes from physical capital and average years of schooling but there is much more going on there and we, the answer uh, lies in technological improvements let's look at the data in some another way this is called as growth accounting this will allow us to tell or this will allow us to answer a question how important these three factors are in the total economic growth that has been caused during this period. So for example, in 1950 to 1959 for the decade, the economic growth rate was 3.54%. So what was the individual contribution of physical capital, human capital, and technology to this growth rate? Well, first of all, notice one thing. 3.54% is something that we calculated from the data. We have annual, we have GDP figures for all these years. We just calculate annual GDP growth rate uh, as you would do for any other variable. That gives us, let's say, 3.54%. We also know uh, what is the growth rate uh, that results from capital. How do we know that? We know that the total amount of GDP that is claimed by capital owners is roughly 33%. And the total amount of GDP that is claimed by workers is roughly 66%. When we uh, multiply these shares with the 
uh, growth rate, what we basically get is that uh, 0.89 of the 3.54 growth rate comes from physical capital. 0.28 of 3.54 comes from human capital. So that is not really a lot. I mean, in all these cases, the total rarely goes more than 1.2. So where is the remaining bulk of economic growth coming from? And that is where we come to this column, growth resulting from technology. How do we get these numbers here? We just take 3.54, subtract 0.89 and 0.28 from it. So that accounts for physical capital and human capital. Whatever remains is what comes from technology. So 2.37% of growth came from technology. Similarly, for this column, 3.26 is the total economic growth rate. Out of that, human capital contributed 89%. Uh, sorry, physical capital contributed 89%. Human capital contributed 17%. So where does the remaining growth come from? It comes from, again, technology. So uh, what we can basically see is that the bulk of economic growth rate is always contributed by technology or factors which contribute uh, to our knowledge advances, new ideas, more efficient ways of combining capital and human capital. So these are all different aspects of technology. All right, so this, uh, this concludes our economic growth uh, lecture for uh, till this growth accounting for the United States. Uh, after this, we are gonna look at uh, a little bit of historical uh, perspective. So we will first start with the remaining part of this chapter, which talks about Malthusian growth rates. And then we will talk about more of historical stuff and many other interesting aspects of economic growth uh, in the next chapter. After this video, uh, you should uh, be able to attempt all the questions uh, that are there for this week's homework. Thank you.